How does credit card processing work? For many, how credit card processing works is a mystery. So what actually happens when you insert, tap, or swipe your credit card to make a purchase? To understand the process, you should first be familiar with the players in a typical credit card transaction. Player 1. You, the card member. You set the whole process in motion when you use your credit card to make a purchase. Player 2. The merchant. This is the party selling you something and accepting your credit card as payment. Player 3. The issuing bank. This is the bank that issued you your credit card and to whom you make payments for purchases. Player 4. The acquiring bank. This bank processes the merchant's credit card sales. Merchants pay them a fee to process credit card purchases. Player 5. The network. The network facilitates the transaction by enabling the issuing bank to communicate with the acquiring bank. Major credit card networks in the U.S. include Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Now that you understand the players, here's how the process works. You, the customer, run your credit card at a merchant's terminal to pay for a purchase. The terminal then sends the card's information to the acquiring bank. The acquiring bank then identifies the network by the credit card number and routes the transaction and card information to the appropriate network. The network identifies the issuing bank and sends the card and transaction information to that bank for their approval. If the issuing bank believes the requested purchase is legitimate and can be covered by the amount of available credit on the account, they should approve the transaction and communicate this to the network. If the issuing bank suspects the requested purchase may be fraud, or there is insufficient available credit to cover the purchase, or if there is some other issue, they may deny the transaction. The network then lets the acquiring bank know if the transaction is approved or denied. Then, the acquiring bank communicates with the merchant's terminal to approve or deny the transaction. If it's approved, the purchase is made. A signature may or may not be required. If it's denied, the payment does not go through. At that point, you may need to call the issuing bank to see why the purchase was denied. So after all of this takes place, who pays whom and when? First, the merchant sends a batch of approved credit card authorizations to the acquiring bank, typically at the end of each business day. Then, the acquiring bank deposits funds from these approved credit card authorizations into the merchant's bank account. The issuing bank then transfers funds to the acquiring bank to reimburse them for purchases made with their credit card. Finally, the issuing bank sends you a bill that includes your purchases plus any balance from previous purchases plus fees or interest charges. You pay them at least the minimum amount due. It's not mysterious, but there are a lot of moving parts in credit card processing. They all work together to provide the speed and convenience you've come to expect with credit card transactions.